wondering what board do I take? Do I take the fish for the beach break? Or what no one's ever accused me of being too quiet. My mum always reckoned I should have been born with a mute button. I guess words have always come easy to me. The only problem is, they're not always the right words. I'll tell you later, yeah? There she was again, the girl whose name I didn't even know. This time, I was going to do it. I was going to talk to her, yep, I was just going to walk straight up to her and... G'day. I'm Eric. I know. Hi. So, uh, you want to, like, hang out? You want to hang out with me? Sure. Why not, baby? Oh, Eric. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. I am so, so sorry. That's OK. It's my fault. No, no, no. Completely. I'm Eric, by the way. Juliet. Juliet. Really? That's your name? Yeah. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Not at all. It's just the same as the, um, the, the, the movie, the book thing. So, uh, Juliet, where's your Romeo then, eh? Look, I have to get to class. Right. OK. Farewell, sweet Juliet. Uh, but you've got my book. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise. <laughs> That went well. Stuff it! In the wave, you have to crouch lower. Okay, everyone in. Okay, guys, great stuff. I know you've all been working hard, putting in the time. It's really starting to show in your surfing. Most of you. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to hang around and work on anything, feel free. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, Thanks Mo. Thanks, Mo. Uh, Brooke, you seem to be having a bit of trouble with your tube riding. Where's that come from all of a sudden? Just trying some things out. They don't seem to be too successful. I feel like I need some variation. That's all. And that's what the bodyboard's for? Yeah. I thought it might help. OK, Brooke, if you want to ride a bodyboard in your own time, it's up to you. But to be honest, I don't think it's going to help you surfing one bit. OK, well, maybe I'll just catch some waves for fun. This is my own time, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Hey, Brooke, what's with the kitty board? Shouldn't you be in the shallow end, young lady? Ha uh ha, -huh, very funny, guys. Just watch and learn. What have you guys got against bodyboarding? It's huge in Europe. We used to do it all the time when I was back in France. It's her again. OK, whatever you do, don't mess it up this time. Hey, Juliet. I was just heading down for a surf. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're from Solar Blue, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That girl down there on the bodyboard, is she from there too? Yeah, yeah, that's Brooke. She's just mucking around there. She's pretty good. Oh, yeah, but bodyboard is not the real deal, is it, though? I mean, I reckon they should wear L plates, eh? But if you ask me, it's just a waste of waves, you know? Is that your bodyboard? Yeah. Looks like I forgot my L plates. <laughs> I wasn't serious. It's a great sport, huge in Europe. Fire. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll see. I'll see you. Nice going, Brooke. Mind if I have a try? Sure. Hey, you're pretty good on that. Thanks. Haven't done it in a while. You know, there's a bodyboarding comp down at White Beach this weekend. Yeah, my cousin's in the team event. You should enter. You'd be a shoo-in for the finals. Nice work. Thanks. I'll think about it. She's right, you know. You should enter. We're supposed to be training all weekend, remember? Ask him for some time off. For a bodyboarding comp? No way. He'd never give it to me. Not with my form at the moment. Juliet. Sweet Juliet. 
Wait for it out there, Julie. Right. Learning Shakespeare by heart, Eric. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind, kind of. Oh, learning about sweet Juliet, the bodyboarder. How'd you know about her? Who are you talking to her? In the car park and at school. Oh. How do you think I went? Honestly. Honestly? Mm. You crashed and burned. Totally. You didn't have to be that honest. Sorry, but you asked. Hey, Amy, you're a girl. Thanks for noticing. No, no, no. Uh, you can give me some advice. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Eric, I'm not a dating expert. No, no, but you are a female. See, that makes you an expert. Come on, I really need some help. You want me to give you advice? Seriously? Yeah, secrets from behind enemy lines. That's what I need. Table set. Salad's done, just need the dressing. In the fridge. How's dinner going? All under control. Pork stir fry with bok choy. Anything I can do? Yeah, keep your hands out of salad. <laughs> Looks like your exercise in household democracy is a big success. See what happens when they have to work it out for themselves? You want to watch it or you do yourself out of a job? I think I already have. What do you mean? This is all about teaching them responsibility. Huh? And it worked. They've got everything under control now. Someone has to be in charge. Of what? They do all the work now. So what's the problem? Well, I don't know. It's like I'm a fraud. Not like I'm taking Simo's money for nothing. There's nothing for me to do around here now. But Simo needs you. At least till Jilly gets back. No, he doesn't. Not anymore. Have you told Simo? Well, I'm kind of working my way up to that. OK. Just for practice, I want you to pretend that I'm Juliet. You're Juliet. Right. Right. OK. Before school, mm -hmm. I'm at my locker. Mm -hmm. You walk up to me and... G'day. It's me again. We just keep bumping into each other, don't we? Must be in the stars, I reckon. Well. Not that I believe in the stars, but... Eric, well, I believe it up there, of course. But what I mean is, all that horoscope stuff's just a bit of a joke, if you ask me. You don't believe in it, do you? If you do, that's fine. But personally, I just think it's a bunch of old... Eric, stop! Did I say something wrong? I wouldn't know. It was just a big wall of noise. Couldn't even hear myself think. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, when I'm nervous, I go into, um, motor mouth mode. You're not kidding. OK. Eric, you need to calm down. Fewer words, OK? Fewer words? Are you sure? Absolutely. The fewer words, the better. That way she might actually listen to what you're trying to say. Fewer words? OK. Mum, I said I've got training all weekend. No, Simo won't understand. Trust me. I can try, but I don't think it's going to do any good. I said I'll try. OK. Bye, Mum. Everything OK? Yeah. Everything's fine. You sure? It's all right. OK. My cousin that was in that bodyboarding comp came down with the flu. And now a team has to forfeit, unless they find a replacement. You. Yeah. My aunt rang Mum, Mum rang me. I said no, but that didn't go down at all. According to Mum and its family, there are no excuses. So what are you going to do? I don't know. If I go, I'll get in trouble with Simo, and if I don't, Mum won't let me forget about it for 20 years. Then go. You wanted to anyway, didn't you? Simo will never agree. Well, you can't let your family down. Hey. Hello. Talk to her. And remember, fewer words the better. Less is more, okay? Less is more. Less is more. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Good day. Hi. Go. Uh, no thanks. So? Did you want something? Quiet today. 
Words. You need them. <laughs> you know, Eric, you're really different. Different? Wait, is that is that bad? No. It's not. How'd it go? I think I made an impression. I mean, uh, at least she smiled. <laughs> Good. Now it's time to move on to the next step. What's that? Ask her out, of course. And I don't want to let my cousin down either, so I was wondering if you guys would cover for me while I go to the comp. How do you know Simo won't let you go? Yeah, why don't you just ask him? Trust me, I'd have more chance going to a marbles tournament. I still don't understand why anyone would bother entering a bodyboarding comp. Corey, but I'm willing to go with it if everyone else is. Thanks, guys. Oh, there's a party afterwards if you want to come. Uh, now I can see why you bother them. Yeah, too. why don't you tell us that first? We'll be there. Thanks. Go on, Eric. This is your chance. Ask her. Where are you going? She's over there. Yeah, I just can't do it right now. Maybe ever, actually. Why not? Do you promise not to tell the others? I've never actually asked a girl out before. Never ever? So? There's got to be a first time. But what if she says no? That'd kill me. No, it wouldn't. Well, if you don't ask her, that's what will kill you. G'day, Julia. Hi, Eric. What? Well, What's this about? There's a big party on after the bodyboarding comp. It's a fundraiser. And you'll be there? Yeah, I'm on the organising committee. So, um, can I come? Of course. As long as you promise not to make any jokes about bodyboarding. OK. Yep, I'll cross my heart. I'll, um, I'll see you there. So, did you ask her? Kind of. Kind of? Well, um, we're going to the same party, so we're virtually going out, aren't we? Eric! Have you told Simo yet? Maybe I could send him a text message. Text message? Are you kidding? Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, great, Simo. He's got something to tell you. Has he? Actually, I've got something to tell him. Why don't we get him off us? Yeah, okay, sure. Firstly, I'd like to say what a great job you've been doing while Julie's been away. Oh, forget it. No, I really appreciate it. Frankly, I, I didn't think you could do the job, but you've proved me wrong. And I don't know what I would have done without you. Yeah, well, Simo, the... Hang on, let me finish. Last night I had a call from Jilly. She's coming back early. Early? Yeah. Sorry, mate, but, well... With Jilly back, it makes your position redundant. You mean I'm sacked? I wouldn't put it that way. That's great for you uh, to have Jilly back. Yeah, well, I know you must be disappointed. Oh, oh yeah, I am. But, um, you know, I'll get over it eventually. Hang on. Uh, didn't you have something you wanted to tell me? Oh, no, it's nothing important. Oh, I felt like an early breakfast. Want some? Well, I... I cooked a bit extra for you, in case you were hungry. You won't get much chance to eat at the comp. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. It's really nice of you. No peanut oil? None whatsoever. I can manage, you know. You don't have to walk me all the way to the bus stop. It's OK. I felt like a walk anyway. There it is! I'm going to miss it! Run! Wish me luck. You won't need it. You've got natural talent. Bye. White beach, thanks. 
Never been to White Beach before. Heard it really goes off. Mike, what are you doing? I heard there was a job for support crew going. You idiot. down to you, champ. It's your chance to be a hero. You're forgetting that these guys do this every week. I'm just a ring-in. But they don't know about your secret weapon. Secret weapon? Yeah. You've got the best sport crew on the beach, remember? Me. But that was some ride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's turned to a photo finish. But the winners are the Dolphins by a point. <laughs> so uh, uh, hold on a sec. This wouldn't be where you're rushing off to by any chance, would it? To meet Brooke and Mike? No, oh, what'd you think of that? It's hardly rocket science. This was left laying around, Brooke's bodyboard is gone, and you lot were hardly convincing covering for them. Anyone want to tell me about it? Sorry, Simo. Brooke was in a jam, so we said we'd cover for her. Her mother really did put pressure on her. She couldn't say no. We're supposed to meet her at the after party. Why don't I give you a lift then? Okay, you guys go in, I'll find a park. We should find Mike and Brooke and warn them. Good idea, make it quick. Eric, what are you doing? Practicing my lines. What lines? Well, how's your sound? Hey, Juliet, this is a cool party. You look great, that dress really suits you. That's it? No. No, I've got some jokes later on. Eric, trust me, you don't need a prepared speech. You just gotta relax a little, that's all. Okay, here's a trick. When you're talking to Juliet, imagine she's someone else, someone you feel completely comfortable with. Right. You. Imagine I'm talking to you, what do you think? Too? On their way. Hey, guess who won the team event today? Ta-da! The Mighty Dolphins! Yeah! Brooke, we've got to tell you something. Too late. Here he comes. Brooke. Mike. So is your mum happy you did the right thing by the family? Um, yeah. And very noble, helping out a friend in need, Mike. Simo, I just... I can explain. Don't bother. I don't want to spoil the party. But we'll be having a nice, long chat tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. I'm Eric. This is uh, Amy. Chris? Amy, nice to meet you. Yeah, great music. Yeah. Did you um? 
Did you want to dance or? Sure, why not? Cool, let's go. You don't mind? Don't mind what? Your boyfriend, dancing with other women. <laughs> Chris isn't my boyfriend, he's my cousin. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I thought you guys looked alike. Okay, this is it. You can't put it off any longer. So, um, you feel like a dance, Amy? Amy? Juliet? Because that's fine if you don't, because I'm really not that good a dancer anyway. I'd love to. You would? Yeah, come on. Brooks back up to speed. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Brook, Mike. So, you want to tell me about yesterday? Look, Simo, the whole thing was my idea. I talked her into it. No, he didn't. It was my responsibility. All right. As long as there isn't a next time. Something clashes with training, I want to know about it. Big boys and girls, let's start acting like it. Now, under normal circumstances, you'd be losing points. But because it's family, you'll be assigned extra duties around the house and extra training to make up for what you've missed out on. Go on. Simo, did you notice my surfing? I'm tube riding better than ever. I suppose you're going to tell me that's all because of the bodyboarding. I think I just needed something to lift me out of the rut I was in. And we did win. OK, Brooke. Point taken. Maybe I should have listened. That doesn't get you off the hook. I know. It won't happen again. Promise. Eric. How'd it go last night? OK. Just OK? Oh, yeah, she was nice. She was really nice, but... What? Somehow, I just don't think I'll ever be a Romeo, you know? What, so that's it? After all that work, all that preparation and psyching up. Yeah. Thanks for your help, though. I really appreciate it. That's OK. And don't worry. There's lots of other girls out there. You'll find one. Hey, Amy. What's up? Eric? Is that you? Yeah. You want to, like, hang out? <laughs> Maybe. But only on one condition. What's that, baby? <laughs> you seriously get rid of this dorky suit? What are you thinking? Uh, hey, what's with the goofy grin? Dreaming of winning the world title? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Sure. Well, great.